my name is Annika Kontaniemi. I'm from Finland, Lapland, Rovaniemi. And I am from my own business, Susi Villa. I design textiles, woven textiles, and I do all kinds of different projects. I decided to participate in the Creative Steps workshop, which was held here in Finnish Lapland, because I thought it would be a good opportunity to network and meet other like-minded people, exchange ideas and uh, maybe gain some new customers. So I thought the overall process was quite good because it uh, put me, connected me with an Irish entrepreneur, Sally Ann from Sally Ann's Handmade Bags. And uh, we had a resource of a team of students here from Lapland and they put their great minds together and developed uh, uh, some kind of common concept for our businesses to maybe do business together. Thanks to the workshop I got to connect with Irish entrepreneurs in, in uh, the creative field, other handcrafters, there were ceramicists and of course Sally Ann making bags. Um, the benefit was to see that globally we fight this or we have the same challenges as small entrepreneurs. It was nice to kind of share the burdens, um, exchange ideas and also I was able to help Sally Ann get uh, her own, her very own first, um, like specifically for her design textile print the bags because I have some connections in the uh, designing field here in Lapland. So us here in Lapland we live in a rather distant part of the world, uh, a distant corner and these kind of projects that bring us together with people from other distant areas or peripheral areas is crucial for us to to be able to develop our concepts further. Uh, being in Lapland is both good and it is bad. It's good because it uh, has strong brand value and a lot of people come here on holiday and like to visit. But on a daily basis, when outside the tourist season, this can be challenging as an entrepreneur and all, all extra connections are welcome. <laughs>